start. Which means Abel. 
something that is not even edible! Why, why not? It's not like you're gonna eat it anyway. Do not get this the wrong way, Cain. You have to watch your attitude or not. You would fall into sins. Now, Whatever. I have other things and matters to attend to. Please, be good in your behavior. Ugh. Everyone always favors Abel, just like mom and dad. Even God favors Abel. I don't get it. I'm older. I should be respected more. Exactly. You Wait, should. Who's dead? Aren't you sick of always being second compared to your brother, Abel? Well, yeah. But if you want to do something about it? Like what? Oh, gee, I don't know. Maybe kill him? Kill him? Are you insane? He's my brother. You can't kill him. Think about it. He's always first. Aren't you just sick of him getting all the respect and always being loved? I don't know. Killing him will upset mom and dad. Okay. Adam and Eve has so many other sons, so many other daughters. What's just one? Would you agree? You're right. Being number one does feel nice. <laughs> so what do you say? How do you want to get rid of it? Don't worry. I have my own plans. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you doing? What is the meaning of this? I hate you! Ever always favors you! I'm older, I should be respected more than you! Cable, you are my brother! I love you! <laughs> you should destroy Eva, but not join it! You're gonna do it! I finally killed him. I'm finally number one. With him? With him out of the picture. I can finally be respected for who I am. The man of spears. <laughs> now everyone will respect me. Hey, what is this? Where is your brother Abel? What? How, how should I know? I'm not my brother's keeper. What did you do? Admit it now! Admit what? I will not do, admit to anything that will incriminate me. I know you did it. You have to pay for your sins. I will not pay for something I didn't do. You do realize that all of your hatred has brought you nothing but just trouble. Like you spilled your brother's blood on the ground and the ground's blood has been cursed for you. You have become a vagrant, a wanderer on the earth. Please. A nomad and a drifter. Please, God, I can't be a nomad, I can't be a drifter, I can't be a vagrant. No, this, this, I can't, I, I'll die, they'll kill me out there, I can't be alone, I can't be out there. Please, forgive me, God. Rise, <clears throat> I have forgiven you. <coughs> but you must go far away. Now be gone! So, God has given Cain his mark that anyone to kill him would suffer seven times worse the punishment. And this put Cain's mind at ease. For God has kept his promise throughout the lands and throughout time because God is good like that. God is good, because no matter how bad we have been, He will forgive us when we ask, so that we can have a close and personal relationship with Him. <clears throat> It's important to all the Christians out there because it represents good and evil, envy and jealousy. The moral of the story is letting your hatred flow into you will bring nothing but destructive consequences in the end.